So in this question, we're told that the function f is defined by the following. f of x is equal to 3x minus 7 over x minus 2, where x is a real number and we know that x is not equal to 2. And in part a of this question, we're asked to find the inverse of f at 7. So f inverse is 7. The plan of attack here is going to be to attempt to find the inverse f of x and substitute in x equals 7. So therefore, what we're going to do is we're going to rewrite this as y is equal to 3x minus 7. And we divide that by x minus 2. Then our first step here is going to be to swap x and y. Then our second step is going to be to solve for y. So what we're going to have, we're going to then have swapping these x and y's, we're going to have that x is going to be equal to 3y minus 7, and we divide that by y minus 2. So then now we're going to solve this equation for y. So we'll start off by multiplying both sides by y minus 2. So we're going to have x multiplied by y minus 2, and that's going to be equal to 3y minus 7. And then what we can do is expand these brackets on the left hand side, and then we'll have the xy minus 2x is going to be equal to 3y minus 7. So now we're going to get all our y terms on the left hand side and our x terms on the right hand side. So we have, we'll leave our xy on the right hand side and then we're going to subtract 3y and then that is going to be equal to, we add 2x to both sides, so 2x minus 7. And then we'll now take a common factor of y out on the left hand side and that's going to be y lots of x minus 3 is equal to 2x minus 7. And then now we can divide both sides by x minus 3 and therefore this is going to leave us with we'll have that y is going to be equal to 2x minus 7 and then we divide by x minus 3 and this since we found the inverse this is going to be equivalent to saying f of minus 1 of x is going to be equal to 2x minus 7 over x minus 3 so recall in the question we wanted to find the inverse of x when x is equal to 7 so therefore, we can do this by substituting in 7 as x. So then we'll have two lots of 7. And we'll take away 7. And then we'll divide this by 7 minus 3. And putting this into our calculator, we get that this is equal to 7 over 4. So therefore, we can conclude that f of minus 1 is 7 f inverse of 7 is going to be equal to 7 divided by 4. And that's us completed this question. This question was worth two marks, and we received our first mark for having the right method and attempting to find the inverse and substituting in x equals 7. So we'll give ourselves this mark just about here, and then we'll receive our second mark for concluding with the correct answer. So in part b of this question, we're asked to show that f of f of x is equal to ax plus b over x minus 3, where a and b are integers to be found. So here we are wanting to do a composition of functions. So we'll take our function f of x and then substitute this in to our function f of x. So basically every time we see an x, so here and here, we're going to insert our whole function into that. So therefore, we'll have the f of f of x is going to be equal to 3 lots of f of x minus 7 and then we divide this by f of x minus 2. So what we can do, we can do 3 lots of f of x and we know that that is going to be 3 lots of 3x minus 7 and we divide that by x minus 2 so that is going to be equal to 9x minus 21 and we divide that by x minus 2 and then 3 f of x minus 7 is going to be equal to 9 x minus 21 and we divide that by x minus 2 and we take away 7 and that's 7 over 1 so what we can do here we will have 9 x minus 21 
minus 7x. And then we have our negative 2 times negative 7, which is going to be positive 14. And then we divide that by x minus 2 multiplied by 1, which is x minus 2. And then simplifying the top here, this is going to equal to 9 minus 7, which is 2x. Then we have negative 21 add 14, which is equal to minus 7, and we divide that by x minus 2. So that's the first part, that's the, so that's the numerator of our fraction over here. And then for the denominator, we have f of x minus 2 is going to be equal to 3x minus 7. And we divide that by x minus 2, and we take away 2 over 1. And then here, multiplying out our fraction again, we'll have 3x minus 7 multiplied by 1, and then we'll subtract negative 2x, and then we'll add on 2 times 2, which is 4, and we divide all of that by x minus 2. And once again, to simplify in the numerator, we'll have that is equal to x negative 7 add 4, which is negative 3, and we'll divide that by x minus 2. So therefore, this is the denominator. And what we're going to do is take the numerator and the denominator and substitute them in here. And we know that this is going to be equal to 2x minus 7 divided by x minus 2. And then what we could do, we could have divided by x minus 3 over x minus 2. But this gets slightly messy. So we know that dividing by a fraction is going to be the same as timesing by 1 over the fraction. So therefore, if we flip this here, it's going to be the same as multiplying. So we'll multiply this by x minus 2 divided by x minus 3. And then we see here, x minus 2 will cancel with x minus 2. So therefore, this leaves us with f of f of x being equal to 2x minus 7 divided by x minus 3. So therefore, we can say that this is equal to ax plus b over x minus 3 and this is as required because that's what the question asks us so it's as required with a equal to 2 and in our case b is going to be equal to negative 7. So part b of this question which we just completed was worth 3 marks and we received our first mark for an attempt at fully substituting in 3x minus 7 over x minus 2 into f of x. And then this was having it in the correct form. So essentially, this was when we did our working over here, then we substitute it back in. So we get our first mark at this point here when we substitute the values in. We then achieve our second mark for tidying things up and cancelling out our x minus 2s and then receive our third and final mark for rounding back to the question and stating this conclusion here and looking back at ax plus b over x minus 3 so we receive our third mark here.